Hello GH fans, we will update the news now. General Hospital spoilers teased that Laura Collins would suggest Scott Baldwin not to go after Peter August on his own. Scott Baldwin was extremely angry when he learned that Franco Baldwin was dead, after which he vowed to kill the man who killed his son. When the police brought Franco's assassin to headquarters, Scott was assaulted. Laura Collins had previously told Scott Baldwin to stay calm, but Scott couldn't sit still because it was the man who killed his son in front of him. Laura had to whisper in Scott's ear and once again insist to Scott that he must not do those acts with Jason because the police were there. Scott was able to find out the truth because his talented friend Liesel Obricht revealed the culprit actually killed Franco. The suspect that the police is holding is not the culprit but because Jason has no evidence to prove his innocence. All incriminating evidence was directed at Jason, not Peter August. He got out of sin in a spectacular way. Unable to see his enemy out of the law, Scott's anger shifted from Jason to Peter and Scott's desire to quickly reclaim justice for his son. The fact Scott is an extremely hot-tempered person, so he sometimes takes things too far away from the severity of the problem. Exactly in Geneva, when Scotty and Franco were looking for Dr. Warren Kirk. And watch Liesel fight against Kirk's rape. Scott hits Kirk to free Liesel, unfortunately running away from Kirk. The final punch pushes Kirk down and his head hits the edge of the table and Kirk is dead. Liesel and Scotty quickly deprived Kirk's body. Franco Baldwin's death made Cameron Weber extremely angry and sad. He vowed to use that anger as a motivation to confront Jason at Pentonville Prison. Cameron did not believe Scotty was telling the truth that Peter was the enemy that had killed Cameron's beloved stepfather. He ignores the truth and asserts Jason is the enemy will die. Scott couldn't stop Cameron and sought Laura's help. Laura emphasized that Peter was really dangerous and difficult to deal with and was followed closely by Cyrus Renault. So the two discussed and planned for Peter the best approach to help Cameron in his confrontation with Peter. When talking to Laura about Cameron, Scott mentions getting revenge on Peter and how badly he killed Franco. Peter is reluctant to execute Cyrus' agreement because Cyrus dared blackmail him, and Cyrus warned Peter. Cyrus approaches Peter at the PC Cemetery, where he is near the grave of his late half-brother Nathan West. Cyrus tells him he is a very busy boy and implies threats to reveal Peter's crimes, including his recent crimes, if he doesn't participate. Laura hated getting involved with Cyrus, but there was nothing she could do about it. At first she thought Cyrus wanted to document her past crimes as a teenager to encourage her, and then he bombed that he was her half-brother. She discovered that attorney Martin Gray was her other person half-brothers, through their biological father, Gordon Gray. Scott and Liesel didn't know about Peter and Cyrus working together, but now he does and he will share it with Liesel. Scott promises his ex-wife and first love Laura that he will be careful and won't do anything she doesn't do regarding Peter. Laura wasn't sure she was comfortable with that statement. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next videos.